an urban living lab is kind of a local experiment to test new combinations of technologies but also new social activities in combination with technologies. A living laboratory means that the subjects of your experiments are in this way the living beings, uh, humans or people. They can be represented by various forms, can be a, a street, a building, can be a district in the city and so on. But what we're interested in researching about urban living labs is the way in which these deliberate interventions in cities are being used as a vehicle to try to address sustainability challenges. We want to see the urban living lab as a new type of experimental intervention that can have the potential to renew um, and revitalize urban governance for cities. We know that more people are living in cities today than ever before and we know that we have really strong sustainability issues to have to address from water through to congestion through to how we use energy. This is exciting because urban living laboratories are now being thought of as a way we can bring these things together really to improve the urban environment for people. In a nutshell, CAS project hopes to achieve a better understanding on the role of urban living labs. To develop structured good practice examples in order to have a better knowledge about how to initiate, how to manage uh, living labs in the future. You look at a variety of urban living laboratories and see how effective they are in actually trying to achieve these uh, ambitions that they have to improve conditions around sustainability and to foster learning. But at the same time is an experimental, so that means try something that has not been tried before, a new approach to deal with a challenge to deal with a need uh, that comes from urban societies. By learning and knowing more about urban living labs, we can suggest pathways for sustainability transitions in cities, not just in Europe, but in the whole world. So we'll be looking both at the learning that's happening within cities, but also about how learning can be transferred between cities. Is it possible to scale it up, to share the lessons? Our ambition is to not only understand what an urban living lab is about, but also what impact is going to have for local governance. The city of Malmo. Milton Keynes. A, a one from Vienna. The Fierkracht case uh, in Rotterdam. The house called Holbarheten or sustainability was designed to test the technology of using smart metering in the housing sector. Designs for buildings that were energy efficient were first tried out in Milton Keynes. Vienna has a fraction of citizens that have a migrant background. They have not been in Austria. So they are starting to initiate uh, interactions through diversity, which means they are trying to make our benefit out of diversity in a specific quarter. A neighborhood that has people live very close to each other, but then there's all this um, disagreement about how to use uh, the common urban space. Eight families are now living there and uh, they are collecting data on the use of smart technologies which the families uh, were provided with, on their instant energy use and water use and so on. And now Milton Keynes is undertaking a smart grid demonstration project and other trials of different kinds of ways of using smart technology. So it's a completely different approach, but it's also a living lab because it's social innovation, it's interaction, it's involvement of uh, citizens, but involvement also of stakeholders. It's the city, it's some NGOs being active there. But at the same time, turning the tide towards a more welcoming neighbourhood. But they're one of the cases that we're going to be looking at and seeing whether there's something about Milton Keynes' history as a place of experimentation over time. That means that urban living laboratories can work really well there uh, and what we might learn from their past as well to take into the future around the design of urban living labs. Of course, that can be one setup of a living lab of how can we use space um, in, in a way that benefits different groups, that brings environmental benefits and social benefits together. My task as a work package leader is to try to bring together a whole set of different perspectives that we have in the literature already to think about how they can be applied to understand the idea of urban living laboratories. Developing case studies on living labs 
You need case studies because uh, living labs are a very complex phenomenon. So it's the best way to approach them and then to conduct them in different countries, of course. We are going to look on the processes and the mechanisms that urban living labs can sustain themselves over a long time period and also how they relate as an intervention, as a group of actors uh, working and learning together with their community around them. Basically, we are the project leaders and we are there to ensure that all the data that is collected and analyzed within the three other work packages is consistent and feeding in each other's results. Also, we are responsible for the uh, dissemination and communication of the results to companies, to NGOs, to general public and so on.